AHA Airlines shuts down. The airline started service to and from Idaho Falls less than two weeks ago. Local News 8's Kaylee Galavis is live at the airport with more on the parent company's filing for bankruptcy that abruptly ended the service. Kaylee. That's right, Todd. The new airline had its first inaugural flight here at the Idaho, Idaho Falls Airport just 12 days ago on August 11th. But today, ExpressJet filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy ending AHA flights. This was the ribbon cutting as the first flight took off for Reno, Nevada. We're very excited to have AHA join us here today. That gives us six airlines, 14 nonstop destinations. So we are the most, uh, the largest airport in eastern Idaho that has the most service. So we're very excited at AHA today. Passengers boarded and the new direct flight took off. There were even discounted tickets offered to help get passengers to try the new service. But then came the bankruptcy filing. This is the document filed in court. It cites three main reasons for the filing. Lower revenue projections during depressed travel periods of the new COVID-19 variants, inflationary pressures including the escalating cost in fuel, and difficulty scaling operations to spread costs over revenue earned. The City of Idaho Falls put out this statement. We are hopeful a successful restructure will mean AHA is able to offer nonstop service to the IDA region in the future. All affected passengers are asked to contact AHA and ExpressJet directly on the status of refunds. All other routes and airlines at IDA remain unaffected and IDA continues to be the premier airport serving eastern Idaho. AHA Airlines suggests contacting your credit card company for a refund and that they are unable to help with assisting any other travel arrangements. I'm Kaylee Galavis reporting in Idaho Falls. Back to you, Todd. All right, Kaylee, thanks for that live update there from the airport. Now, we do have that information on how to get a refund with this story at localnews8.com or on our app.